For B2B businesses that do digital marketing, the focus of your activity uh, tends to be on lead generation. Uh, so chances are you're probably selling something that uh, it can't just be bought via an add to cart system online. Uh, you know, obviously, software is excluded, and some companies do sell all of their product uh, ranges online to B2B customers. But many of the businesses I work with, at least, uh, have a setup where you know you get people interested in what you're doing, and then they need to pick up the phone and call you or fill out some sort of form and you give them a call back. Uh, so that lead generation is really, really crucial to the whole, I guess, success of your digital marketing operation. Now, one thing that's really important to get right is to strike the balance between lead quality and lead quantity. Uh, so really when you're doing your digital marketing, uh, you know, you, you want to get that mix right between getting enough leads coming through, but also not getting ones that aren't the best quality or who if you chase them up, uh, you know, turn out to be unsuitable and all sorts of things like that. What I tend to see uh, quite a lot of the time is businesses prioritize lead quantity over quality in many uh, many circumstances so you know they'll spend a lot of time measuring how many leads are we getting and you know if you're used to having you know say two or three leads come in a day and then you have a dry day suddenly it's panic stations and we've got to get out there and, and we've got to juice things up and let's blast the email database and you know let's put up a whole load more ads on Facebook or, or LinkedIn or, or Google or wherever you advertise um, and that's because that lead number, you know, the lead quantity is, is that key metric that gets measured. But equally as important, if not more important, is the quality of the leads you're getting. Uh, what I mean by this is if you're getting, you know, 100 leads uh, a month, say, through digital marketing for your business, but only 10 of them are actually leads you can really have a good sales conversation with that might actually turn into uh, business for your company, well, that's not necessarily a good thing because those other 90, you're going to be spending a lot of time communicating with them, following up, all those kinds of things. And as we all know, it's often the leads that aren't the best suited that tend to be the biggest time wasters for businesses. So perhaps you're better off to actually focus less on the quantity and more focus on the quality. So measure that rate of how many leads do we get versus how many actually turn into sales or, or good opportunities at the very least. Uh, so that, you know, if you want your minimum orders to be, you know, say $5,000 and all the inquiries you're getting through digital are for, you know, $500 orders. So, you know, one tenth what it really needs to be. Well, maybe you should rework how you're doing your marketing to really start focusing more on generating those higher value inquiries. What you're going to have to accept if you do this is that you're probably going to get fewer inquiries. And that can be quite scary. Uh, you know, it's that sort of famine or feast mentality that, that most people in business tend to have. Uh, you know, you, you don't like the idea of seeing, you know, 10 leads come in a day, even if they're not perfectly suited. Uh, you still don't like the idea of going from 10 leads a day to maybe only getting one or two really, really good ones who are actually going to be better suited to what you're doing. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, it's a conversation I have a lot with a lot of business owners, uh, whether I wind up working with them long term or not, is that, uh, I guess, that trade-off between getting good volumes of leads through and actually getting ones that are really well suited to what you're doing because ultimately you don't want to spend too much time generating leads uh, that aren't suited to your sales process that aren't suited to the products or services you offer so just bear that in mind when you do your marketing uh, you know if you find you're getting too many uh, low quality leads through then you probably need to revisit both how you're getting in front of them, so are you advertising on the right platforms, is your messaging uh, making it clear the sort of customer you're after, so you know, are you offering uh, you know, some sort of messaging or some sort of presence online that makes it look like you are better suited to selling to a smaller uh, company or an individual or a sole trader or something when really you only want to go after say 50 plus employee size organizations. Well, if your messaging is aligned with the former but you're wanting to get the latter, well, you're going to have a problem. Uh, same thing goes on your website or your contact forms as well. Are you collecting enough information? Uh, you know, you might have to accept that if you collect more information to do a better job at pre-qualifying and screening people that you're going to get by uh, virtue of that fewer inquiries, but hopefully they will be better qualified. So you just think about that. What's that right trade-off for you? Uh, do you spend too much time chasing up leads? that simply aren't right for your business, maybe they're too small or, or too hard to get hold of or, or, or whatever the case may be. If that's so, then revisit how you're marketing and how you're collecting that information and you might have to just accept that you get a smaller volume 
but hopefully a bigger win rate and better quality. So if you found that helpful, make sure you subscribe on YouTube for more free digital marketing advice. I try to focus my content quite heavily on the B2B side of things as well. So hopefully if you're in a B2B industry, startup, something like that, you find this helpful. Uh, follow me on LinkedIn and other social media. And as always, if you've got a question, please leave a comment below. Uh, I will do my best to answer. And you can always email me on any time at info at samfrost.co.nz. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.